Can we stop with me? That's like the best compliment ever. That's like a bird mating call. It's like what you just did was so great that I want to make it. What is going on YouTube? It is your boy Brian Mark coming at you with another episode on this channel and in today's episode I'm going to introduce you guys to Kirsten's new car and we're going to be doing some errands on this beautiful day. Sit back, relax, and enjoy this episode. Let's go. This is my cute girl in our new Mercedes Benz. <laughs> but you got a new Mercedes Benz. I do got a new Mercedes Benz. Do you want to show everyone what we got in here? Well, you can't really see it. With, you can't really see it. What do you mean? Well, it's like hard, like, like, <laughs> like, like, <laughs> hey, <laughs> like, what do you want from me? I see, I see. I like this part. This part's one of my favorite parts. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out how to attach the uh, Bluetooth. So, like, I know that I have to hit foam, but then from there, I don't know what, like, if it, I hit this button, like, yeah, I don't know. It just it seems like I don't know how All to All right, well. I'll be right back. I'm gonna win that husband of the year award. <laughs> Coming right at you. Okay guys, so before we get started, I wanna let you guys know that males don't have to do anything really to get ready, and I had to do that exact same thing today. So I haven't had time to even dry my hair. I have sauce on my pants. I have meatball sauce, and then I also just got a big brown splotch. Um, I really wanted to go to my sister's house and get my hair braided, um, but Brian said that would take too long, so this is what you guys get today. I prioritize my goals over my face and my hair. Do you get it? Please know the phone by the way. I know, and I don't even see it on here yet. Oh, is this the controller? Maybe? That's what I'm just, do you know what I mean? I'm trying to figure out. Oh, how, did you, how did I get there? In the first so you go radio and then you go to telephone. So that's where we want to, yeah, ready for Bluetooth. And then new phone. And then now I'm like, how do we, do you know what I mean? I already tried that one. I know. It's gonna be really simple. It just, maybe it's. Uh, oh, I did it. I think this was it though. I think I did it. Mm -hmm. Or no, maybe you're right. Yeah. Oh, you did it? Oh, you did it. I'm doing it. Is this thing on? <laughs> Is the uh, camera on? Yeah. <laughs> We're in a Benz, bitches. A Mercedes Benz. Okay. So yesterday, you guys, we got rid of the Jeep, beat the Jeep. I actually have always really wanted a Jeep, like getting that Jeep was like getting yeah. one of my dream cars, but it was not very reliable. We're just gonna stop there. And so yesterday I went and, my husband and I went and got a new vehicle and I want you guys to guess what it is. It's Mercedes. Don't fucking blow it. Okay, so this is difficult, you guys. BRB. Well, YouTube videos later, yeah. and we are in uh, business. It's doing something. It's doing, doing something. something. I probably should have closed that YouTube video. Oh, oh there we there go. There we go. Chris Kirsten's iPhone. iPhone. Whoa! Oh, bam. Thank you. More, that please. That one again. Give me, a, give me a kiss and tell me you love me because I'm smart. I want a kiss and tell you I love you because you're smart. You're Look. smart boy. Yes, yes, yes. Bear. Bam. <laughs> Please stop me That's like the best compliment ever. That's like a bird mating call. It's like what you just did was so great that I want to make. You know. Okay, okay, okay. I did not sign up to have sex with a bird. Please stop. <laughs> All right, guys. We had a little bit of a hiccup. Authorization oh. successful. We are successful. Let's do the mating call together. <laughs> I'm not gonna help you out with anything Can anymore. You please do it with me and make the YouTube. Please. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got Dax playing on the radio right now. I did figure it out. And uh, the reason we got Dax playing on the radio is Kirsten actually got me tickets to go see Dax next weekend, which I'm actually really excited I just about. Don't, I don't just make sexy bird sounds, I also do really cool white things. Because like, I, I think like like financially, like I don't really think there would, would have been a gift that would have been like, ooh, yay, but she like knows that I love Dax, so. She got me tickets to go see Dax, and I'm honestly excited for it. And I got us the nicest hotel in Vernon. 
nice as hotel and burning. Nice as hotel and burning. We're very excited. So uh, that's what we're doing right now. Is we are we're gonna go out and do some stuff for the day. Some and next weekend we're going to see Dax. So we're, I love we're, this vehicle. We're, we're, I'm so much happier in this vehicle than than the Jeep. Yeah. Yeah. Tell me, tell me more. I am super grateful. I never knew that I wanted a Mercedes Benz. I always wanted a Jeep because of my ego. I thought it would make me look cool. Like I just think bitches and Jeeps just look badass. And so I honestly wasn't very good at driving it. I was always going over the lines. It was super large and in charge and hard to manage. And besides the fact that it broke down a bunch, but I think maybe the reason why the Jeep wasn't what I needed is because I got the Jeep not out of convenience, but because I was like, I'll look fucking sick in this. Yeah. Right? So this is like nice, small, compact. It has my rear view camera. I got my Bluetooth set up. And I just feel like I feel bossy. I feel like it's slick, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I like that. I'm going to steal that. Cozy cruising. Go for it. Okay, I would love to get a grande oat milk latte. Okay. Brown sugar, brown sugar oat milk latte. Hot. Okay. And then can I get just one pump of the sweetener? Only one pump of the sweetener? Of the brown sugar sweetener, yeah. Anything else? Um, do you want anything, baby? Nope. No, thank you. 677, I'll see you at the window. Ladies, what is your coffee order? Drop it in the comments. So for some context, she's like, get the camera out. You need to record this. And then she just ordered her drink. Okay, the YouTube algorithm will 100% pick up basic fake Starbucks orders. All right, so going to Black Mountain Fitness because I need to get some new Easy Bar Girls. I also need to get some new barbells. I need to get them in the back. So I'm going in right now to see what they have. Tried to do it on their website, wasn't really useful. So I'm hoping that going in there will actually get me some equipment that I need. Let's get it. Um, so we just went in and I wanna get an entire new Easy Bar Curl set and also a new barbell set because right now our set is ass and I hate it at the gym. I'm also looking at a new rack, sorry, a new rack for this set. So we're gonna be getting a new rack and potentially five new treadmills. So just talk to them about what it would cost to get five new treadmills in the gym. So my goal is to make Iron Energy Gym the best gym in Western Canada. So we're trying to improve it one step at a time. Happy to report that my grocery shopping trip went really well. Got a bag of Benitos. We like Benitos. We like Benitos. I'm just kidding, we got a healthy haul. Ew, all these vegetables. Yeah. Back, back. Where we get to do like Sunday grocery shop. Um, meal prep tonight. Got the bends in the back. Back. We had a little bit of a domestic. So um, let me a explain little, the situation. Bit, yeah. Actually, I'm not gonna explain the situation. I'm gonna sing the situation. Okay, I'm gonna sing my situation. No, I'm, going, I'm singing first. Okay. You so sing. we went out shopping. <laughs> We went looking for a table, and I'm like, baby, I found one I love, what do you think? She's like, oh, those oh. chairs look like they stink. And I was like, baby, I really like this table. And she's like, oh, they're atrocious. You should call your friend Cole before you make a decision. And I said, okay. So I called Cole, he's my best friend in the world. And I said, Cole, what do you think of this table? <laughs> He's like, love the table, hate the chairs, get the table and go somewhere else for the chairs. And I said, okay. So I'm walking over to look at a different set of chairs and then Kristen sees and she's like, oh, those chairs, those also stink. <laughs> And I was like, but baby, you told me to call Cole and then he told me to look at other chairs and now you hate the chairs. Hate the chairs more than anything. And that's what happened. That's okay. my version. My turn, my turn. Okay, okay, let me park because I really want to get into this. Okay, all right. We went to the brick and I thought it was going to be pretty sick <laughs> until my husband asked my opinion and I didn't realize he didn't actually want my honest opinion. He wanted me to pretend that I liked the table and the chairs when I thought that they were. I really liked the table, but I didn't. I really liked the table, but I was very unsure if it was going to fit in with our house, so I said that. And then he just looked at me like I'd said something wrong. But typically when someone asks you a question, you answer honestly. I now know that when my husband asks me a question that I'm supposed to lie and agree with everything that he says instead of having my own opinion. 
So then I wow. said, maybe, then I told you him, are busy. maybe you should call Cole. But I did not say that if you call Cole that I will agree with everything that Cole says. So then he went and looked at office chairs that were literally, I'm telling you guys, literally fucking horrific. So again, he didn't even ask me this time and I just said, those are fucking horrific. And then he was very, very, very annoyed. Sad. Very annoyed. But just to give one last part of my song over here, <laughs> there was also a time where I said, hey baby, I really like that table, but there's another table over here. And he said, that's the ugliest thing I've ever seen. I hate it more than anything I've ever hated in my entire life. And then I listed a few things that he really hates. And he said, I hate that table the most. So I thought that we were being honest with each other, but we weren't. <laughs> <laughs> what the f is going on? <laughs> the f is going on in this car? Now we're going to Walmart and hopefully we agree on what we're going to buy in there. We will. We're in the vortex. Come here, give me a kiss, sweet boy. Do that bird thing again. Alright guys, that brings us to the end of today's YouTube episode and honestly, today was lit. It was so good. Went out and got some furniture for the VIP one-on-one -on -one half days. I'm super excited actually, I'm gonna show you guys in a minute. So got some furniture for the VIP one-on-one -on -one half days, which I'm very excited about. Um, I've got my students coming down here, they're flying from all around the world. There's gonna be five of them that are coming down for some VIP half day coaching. So uh, what I did is I went out today, me and Kirsten had a little bit of a dispute over the furniture, right babe? But we're, we, we're moving past that now. Okay, we're not moving past it yet, but I'm just joking. Just joking! I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. So this is the empty space right now. This is the empty space. And then we're gonna put a giant boardroom table here. I think I wanna get like some couches and shit. I don't know yet. I haven't decided. But I wanna fill up most of the room with furniture. So this is the space, you guys. This is it, right here. I'm very excited to turn this into like a Boardroom. I think my vision for this room, now that I have you guys here, is the entire purpose of me purchasing this house specifically was for Pizza Dome events. And we hosted two of our Pizza Domination events here. And if you came to the Pizza Dome events, then you saw and you were experienced what like what it felt like in my house. And so I do want to have these events, more, more similar events to this, but maybe we'll keep it smaller, more intimate. So you actually just meet and we hang out at my house and like that's the event, you know? So that is, uh, that's a potential, but I think, you know, 10 tickets would be cool. And uh, that, that, that's kind of like the vision that I have for this room. Um, and some really like in-depth coaching over the course of a few days. So I'm excited for that, that's the first thing. The next move, the next thing that's coming is all of the chairs and the table that I just purchased uh, for the half day. So I'm excited, it's gonna be awesome. I'm gonna turn this room into like my VIP coaching hub. So guys, that's it, that's all. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Hopefully you got some value from today's episode. If you did, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend about this channel, and chase your motherfucking dreams, son. Peace.